Gold, the lustrous and precious metal that has captivated humanity for centuries. It graces jewelry, coins, and bullion, symbolizing wealth, power, and stability. Daily, around 5,000 tons of earth are processed worldwide in the pursuit of this precious metal. Yet, the amount of pure gold extracted is astonishingly small. From this colossal quantity of earth, barely 10 kilograms of gold are mined. This stark contrast underscores not only gold's rarity, but also the immense effort involved in its extraction. Now, do you understand why this mineral is so valuable? Imagine for a moment holding a gleaming gold bar, feeling the weight of thousands of dollars in your hands in the form of a simple rectangle. Can you visualize how incredible that would be? A single 12 kilogram bar is worth over a million dollars, instantly making you a millionaire. But have you ever stopped to think about how gold is extracted from deep within the earth? How is it transformed into those brilliant bars that capture our attention? Today, we embark on an adventure to Africa, home to some of the world's largest gold mines. Here, we'll explore how this precious mineral is extracted, the process of separating it from the rock, and the techniques used to obtain every gram of gold. Later, we'll travel to Switzerland and delve into one of the world's largest gold refineries to see how it's transformed into those coveted bars. But before we begin, tell us, have you ever touched pure gold or seen a gold bar shine up close? Let us know in the comments. Now get ready because we're about to uncover the incredible process of producing thousands of gold bars. Let's begin. Step 1. Gold Extraction The journey of gold begins deep within the earth, specifically in the vast mines of Africa. This precious metal is trapped in rocks, mixed with other minerals, and can be hundreds of meters underground. Extracting it requires heavy machinery, advanced technology, and specialized equipment operating in extreme conditions. There are two primary methods of extraction, open pit mining and underground mining. In open pit mining, gigantic excavators and trucks move tons of rock to reach deposits near the surface. On the other hand, underground mining involves the construction of tunnels and galleries to access deeper veins. Can you imagine working more than a thousand meters below the surface? It's a challenge few are willing to take on. Once the gold-bearing rock is identified, it's transported to processing plants. Interestingly, the gold isn't visible to the naked eye, but is mixed with other materials like quartz or pyrite, forming what's called gold ore. The shiny gold we know is still a long way from appearing. Consider this. To extract just one gram of gold, up to 30 tons of rock must be processed. And to create a gold ring, between 5 and 10 grams are needed. Now think about the amount of rock required just to make a simple ring. It's simply incredible. This astonishing fact highlights why gold is so valuable and sought after worldwide. Once the rocks containing this precious material are found, they're transported in gigantic trucks, each capable of carrying up to 400 tons of ore in a single trip. These vehicles are so enormous that their tires are taller than the average person. Can you imagine driving one of these Titans? With the gold-laden rocks ready, the next step is to take them to the factory and release the golden particles trapped within. Let's discover how they do it. Step 2. Crushing and Grinding Once the gold-laden rocks arrive at the processing plant, the real work begins, releasing those tiny golden particles trapped within. The first step is crushing, where enormous machines reduce the rock into smaller fragments, about the size of fine gravel. It's a noisy process, full of dust and vibrations, but absolutely necessary to prepare the material. Next, these fragments go to the mills, where everything is ground into an extremely fine powder almost like flour. This level of grinding is crucial because it maximizes the exposure of the gold, facilitating its separation in the following steps. Although that powder might not seem like much, it hides something valuable, microscopic particles of gold waiting to be liberated. At this point, you might be surprised to learn that the gold still doesn't have that shine that makes it so iconic. Mixed with other minerals, its appearance is grayish, opaque, even somewhat dull. It doesn't look anything like the shiny metal we imagine. Transforming this material into something pure requires a lot of patience and precision. But here's the impressive part. Tons of rock are processed day and night just to extract those tiny golden particles. It's a colossal task, 
and this fine powder is the initial reward for all that effort. At first glance, it may not seem valuable, but every gram represents a world of work. Now that the gold is ready to be separated from the rest of the materials, it's time to move on to the next step, purifying it. This is where the real transformation begins, and it's not as glamorous as it seems. Let's discover it. Step 3. Separating the Gold Once the rock powder is prepared, one of the most fascinating and complex steps in the process begins, separating the gold from the rest of the materials. This is where technology and chemistry come together to face a great challenge, finding and extracting microscopic gold particles from tons of dust. The most commonly used method is cyanide leaching. This process, although technical, is relatively simple. The powder is mixed with water and a special solution containing cyanide, a chemical capable of trapping the gold, dissolving it, and separating it from other minerals. The result is a leaching solution that, although it looks like dirty water, contains gold in its purest form. It's impressive to consider that highly valued gold particles are now dissolved in a liquid that appears ordinary, but it's crucial for extracting the precious metal. This step is fundamental to transforming the invisible into something of great value through science and engineering. Despite its effectiveness, the use of cyanide carries significant risks, so strict safety measures and environmental controls are implemented during the process. Modern mining companies have made advances in improving these techniques, committing to minimizing environmental impact and ensuring responsible management, in contrast to the more rudimentary practices of the past that did not prioritize sustainability. Now that the gold has been extracted in this solution, the next step is to recover it and transform it into the solid, shiny form that is widely recognized and valued. The process continues to reveal how this fascinating metal can be obtained and purified. Step 4. Gold Recovery Once the gold is dissolved in the solution, it's time to recover it in its solid form. How do we transform that liquid that looks like ordinary water into something as valuable as gold? This step is where chemistry really starts to shine. The most commonly used process is called zinc precipitation. In simple terms, zinc is added to the solution so that the gold separates from the liquid and becomes a solid material. It's as if that hidden gold in the mixture floats out and begins to show itself. The gold recovered at this point is not yet what you would expect to see in a jewelry store or a bullion bar. It appears as an opaque material, almost like small grains or golden dust, known as doré gold. Although it doesn't shine or impress at first glance, this is gold in its purest form that is about to be refined. Even this solid gold, although significant, needs to go through several more processes before reaching its characteristic shine. This is where technological advances play a crucial role, allowing these particles to be converted into the precious metal that we all recognize and value. With the solid gold already recovered, we have taken a big step towards its transformation. However, there is still important work to be done to achieve that brilliant purity that we so appreciate. It's time to refine it. Step 5. Refining the Gold now that we have gold particles, it's time to take them to Switzerland, the global heart of refining this precious metal. In giant cargo planes, heavily secured boxes containing hundreds of kilograms of gold in the form of golden grains depart from Africa to the advanced processing plants in Switzerland. Once there, the gold has been recovered in its solid form, and one of the most important steps arrives, refining. This is where the gold is completely clean to achieve its purest form that characteristic golden shine we all know. But how do they manage to remove all the remaining impurities? The process begins with fire refining, where the gold is heated to extreme temperatures, exceeding 1,000 degrees Celsius. This heat separates the impurities from the metal, leaving clean and shiny gold. Can you imagine working near furnaces so hot they could melt almost anything? To make it even purer, a method called electrolysis is used. In this process, the gold is immersed in a chemical solution, and subjected to an electric current that removes any trace of other metals. In the end, almost perfect gold is obtained, with a purity that makes it shine like never before. At this point, the gold is so valuable that even a small amount has an incredibly high price. That's why each step is carried out with maximum precision, so as not to lose a single gram. Now that the gold is completely refined, the moment we've all been waiting for arrives, seeing how it is transformed into bars, coins, or jewelry. Let's see it. Step 6 molding into bars. With the gold completely refined and gleaming, one of the most anticipated moments arrives, transforming it into the iconic gold bars we all know. But how is this achieved? 
The process begins with liquid gold, obtained by remelting the refined metal. This gold, now in a liquid state and at very high temperatures, is carefully poured into special molds. These molds are designed to give each bar its perfect rectangular shape. Can you imagine seeing how the liquid gold, bubbly and shiny, begins to cool and solidify? It's a fascinating sight. As the gold cools, it takes on its solid form and begins to show its characteristic golden shine. But the process doesn't end there. Each bar is carefully inspected, weighed, and marked with a seal that certifies its purity and origin. This seal is like the bar's signature, guaranteeing its authenticity anywhere in the world. A standard bar weighs approximately 12.5 kilograms, which is equivalent to the weight of a bicycle, but with a value of hundreds of thousands of dollars. In fact, a single bar can cost up to several million dollars, depending on the market. Holding one in your hands would be to feel the weight of absolute luxury. With the bars ready, their journey is not over. They still need to be stored and distributed with maximum security measures. Ready to see how they reach their final destination? Let's go to the next step. Step 7. Storage and Distribution Finally, after all the effort, precision, and technology involved, the gold bars are ready for their final destination. But before being transported, they must be stored with extreme security. Can you imagine how and where something so valuable is kept? The bars are safeguarded in high-security vaults, equipped with advanced systems capable of withstanding fires, floods, and even theft attempts. These vaults are not only impressive fortifications, but are also monitored 24 hours a day by state-of-the-art cameras and sensors. Places like Fort Knox in the United States or the vaults of central banks around the world are examples of where this precious treasure is guarded. When it's time to distribute the bars, armored vehicles and, in some cases, air transport are used, depending on the location and final destination. Did you know that a single armored truck can transport bars worth billions of dollars? This fact underscores the enormous weight, both literally and symbolically, of these shipments. The destinations of gold bars vary widely. Some are kept in the reserves of central banks to support the economies of countries. Others are transformed into coins, jewelry, or become private investments. In fact, about 50% of the gold extracted is used in jewelry, while the rest is divided between bank reserves and technological industries. Thus concludes the incredible journey of gold. From the depths of the earth to the safest vaults in the world, going through impressive processes that transform a simple mineral into one of the most powerful symbols of wealth in history. Were you surprised to discover everything involved in the production and handling of gold? Leave your opinion in the comments. And if you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to explore more fascinating processes.